Hey everyone, we're back, and there's not much. Just use the mirror real quick. And we'll be okay, right up okay, to Chloe. Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Unless it lets us knock on all the doors in the dorm, which I am not below doing. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be. Ooh, flashlight time. Slates. Wherever you go. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Where are you? I'll be there. What can I... Wait, we'll wait for Kate. Slash Brooke. No comment. Yeah, so we, we can just look at the slates, I guess. Posters are the same. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Waiting for Kate. Oh, apparently that's the the hashtag. Hashtag waiting for Kate. What's this? This is both sad and pathetic. Uh, let's read this. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this to you. Might not hate me, my dumbass forever. I know I. Oh, this is the the same thing from before, just in the trash. I'm gonna examine your room first. This is your vortex club. Go on your laptop. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Go for oh, Dana. That's from Trevor. I've been thinking about you all day, and I know how hard it is for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad that Max swooped up like a superhero, and I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want to let you know that you're a good friend to Kate, and I wish she had more friends like you. You've been so good to me uh, when everything else is so fucked up, and I'm always here for you, always. I miss you, Trev. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Keep seeing Kate on that roof and feel like I should have done more to help her. Max did more than anybody to save Kate, and I don't even think they're BFF. <laughs> so happy thinking about me. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Okay. If and... Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Oh, what's going on here? Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. Hi, Juliet. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still a little shaken up after the day. I want to keep a low profile. On her profile. Is she... what is it? Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Okay. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Uh, it's not just with Victoria. She was depressed, or we're all responsible. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to throw the blame on Victoria solely. It's us for not stepping in, or... Well, she's getting bullied. Hmm. I, I'm not responsible. I'm actually one of the only people doing shit, so let's just say she was depressed. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Um, why was she on the roof? That's a good question. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Oh, he got expelled? He just got suspended, I thought. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Yeah, what's going on? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Right. Oh, it's just the paper ball. Nothing else to uh, Victoria so. isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her oh, shit. Oh, so everyone is waiting for Kate. Praying for a fast recovery, Kate. Incredible. Taylor is utterly shameless. Oh, it's t that's the one who threw the paper ball at her. Stella, Kate, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. Negative thoughts. 
No comment. Let's head out of here. I wonder if this is going to be a sneak mission. Avoid the security guard. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Well, oh, this is the dorms. Yeah. Let's have a sit. Hear her thoughts. Or our I thoughts, really. So giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Can make a difference, quite a big difference. Oh, picture, photo up. Hello, squirrel. Come on, let me take a picture or something. Lame. The epic photo up. Oh, Chloe, you're taking too long. Max too long. A broken lamp? Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. I wonder if that'll come into play. Ah, standing water. I hate it. Principal uh, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Can but he's drunk as fuck, though. I get by. What a day. Blackwell almost lost another student. Wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. Just try walking by. He's not that drunk. Oh, can I screw with that? Oh wait, I know. Maybe we can go to the very not well secured place over here. Cut the power. Oh, this is the solution to everything. Whenever we're by the dorms. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. in here. Nothing here. So there's, oh, here we go. There's magazines. Those are from Who before. Knew Samuel was so into runway fashion. There's gotta be something. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Some tools. Nothing but tools. This. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Uh, maybe Samuel kidnapped the girl and her body parts are in some of these boxes. God, I can't do it. I'm surprised it doesn't even let me open it. There's like nothing else in here. I don't think that. Magazine. All right, so this is just kind of like a red herring, I guess. Anything anywhere? Maybe I can just sneak by. Maybe. If I walk and in the shadows. <gasps> Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside <sighs> your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. 
I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Yeah, it would have been I don't get caught. not good for press. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Can I just talk to him? No, that's not going to work. And the smart son of a bitch has me trapped. There's got to be something I missed. Or maybe I had to go get caught first. The squirrel. Can't do anything with the squirrel. Clearly, there's a reason I gotta go in here at some point. It just doesn't want to let me know what that is. Oh, here we go. Hello! Yeah, it's not weird. Not in a good spot right now. Box of girl stuff. Yeah, there, there's nothing in here that is findable, at least. Could I sneak out a window on the bottom floor? Backside me? Oh, I know that Victoria. Oh, Victoria's gone. I could break into her room and go out her window. Oh, the sluts are us. I am just going in circles now. I mean, maybe this broken light is a hint. The totem? Is this helpful? The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Oh, you can't get to it. Maybe I should just go by. Let him catch me again or something. So the game will throw me a fucking hint. <gasps> oh, first thought yeah, I was... Stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Now he's got me totally trapped. Max, I told you to get back to your room. Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Max, I told you to get back to your room. Okay, I mean, he's pretty close. He needs to take a few more shots. He's though. lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Uh, there's nowhere to sneak. Um, it's just one way out. Can't go back in the dorms. That's just that'll just catch me over and over again. Yeah, I'll look at this broken thing again. Oh, I need to rewind. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. It's like you have to rewind. Everyone to like before he was even there. 
a lot of rewind. Oh, I can. Set of keys on me somewhere. Uh, ah, gotcha. Max the ninja strikes. Yes. That's an interesting way to do it. Thought there was going to be a puzzle solving. That means I'm actually early now. Oh fuck. Get it? Boo yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Maybe. Chaos Theory. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Yeah, no big deal. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Uh, clues... About Kate, right? Or Rachel? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Um, is it just them? Well, not just them. There's others, right? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. I can still feel David's hand on my face. And even though I don't know her... It feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Do you think she's... Dead question mark? Alive question mark? Kicking it. Hmm. Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just... Don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Oh, so that means he does not patrol so at night. Thank you for helping me put together a portfolio. Oh, Hopefully Victoria. The, the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Why is she faking... Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. 
You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. <laughs> that could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. Oh. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? Things didn't work out for Victoria again. That's nice, that Mr. Jefferson is not a bad guy. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Oh, what are they finding out in here? I don't even know what we're looking Chloe for in the school. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm oh, serious. you. We're not kids anymore. You told me to fucking hide in the closet. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Okay, so it's gonna be exploring the school in the next time. So catch everyone then.